Hi, I'm Safi from Nova Mining Rigs. Today we have two RTX 3080 Water Force. So we're going to install the water system for it, uh, the coolant, and we're going to see in the previous video I have installed two RTX 3080s, but in that I showed we used separate water tanks and separate, separate um, pumps for both GPUs. In this one, we're going to see how we can use uh, one water pump and one uh, radiator uh, and reservoir for two GPUs. Uh, these are uh, big uh, water radi radiators and they cool, they can cool up to four or five liters of uh, coolant and then I have a reservoir that's about a liter uh, it uh, takes about one liter of um, uh, coolant and then so the GPUs themselves also have uh, a lot of capacity for storing coolant so overall for these two GPUs we'll end up using um, almost two liter of coolant uh, we have the coolant over there that's from Corsair uh, it's, you can buy it, it's pre-mixed. You can buy it at uh, a micro center or order it from Amazon. Uh, they, it's about $20 uh, bought. So let's open these uh, GPUs first. And then we'll go from there. So I just received these GPUs. I have more coming. So I plan on turning this rig into, uh, it's a 12, a 12 GPU rig. I'm going to convert this whole rig into um, water force. So all the, there's going to be 12 GPUs on this rig and they're all going to run from the same reservoir, same motor. And uh, so once I have the, the water force, the, the coolant, the water coolant uh, system on it, I will remove all of these fans. Um, so you see how these GPUs have these fans? The, the water force ones don't, so I will get rid of so many fans. That's going to be very, very. Uh, it's going to decrease the uh, electricity cost. It's going to decrease the noise levels. It's going to decrease. Um, it's also going to help with the heat dissipation. And I've already seen that these GPUs run at 46 degree uh, Celsius. But which is very cool. Uh, I love it. So this uh, first one, this is a, a gigabyte. tubes I'm going to be using. Uh, I got it out of uh, from Amazon. So. Tubes to these holes. 
These little wells are going to be screwed in here. You can get these from Amazon or from um, Micro Center. I'm going to screw these in. You want it to be uh, tight so that water doesn't leak from it. There's Second one. And this one too. Be tight enough so that the water does not leak from it. Similarly, these wells are going to gonna screw them in on this one too. Basically, this is going to be the outtake for this one. And it's going to connect to the intake for this other GPU. So, straightforward. This one is going to come from the reservoir, and then the tube, this one from over here, is going to go to the cool, the cooling system. And then a wire is going to go directly all the way from the cooling system to the reservoir, to, so the um, coolant can go back into the reservoir and recycle. Caution, Kant is hot. You get to give me all you got. is hot. You get to give me all you got. decided to just get this. This is like over 30, I think it's 50 feet, yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's 
50 feet. <laughs> probably not needed. It's only like $10. It's not that expensive. But at Micro Center, the tubing that they have is kind of it's rigid, but it's expensive. So I don't know if it's a I like this better. It's easy to work with. Much easier to work with. Okay, so all the tubings are connected. The last step is to pour in the um, coolant and then we're ready. Yeah, just pour in the coolant and, um, oh, I mean connect the uh, power to everything, but so this comes with its own separate power that uh, it's a mole, it's a molex, the molex cable that uh, I'm going to connect to this one right here. I don't know if I have any molex cable over here. So I'm going to connect this. To the periphery and uh, yeah connect this right here the molex cable that's so now this one over here is a little cup <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah